Maggie, and we're from the Chair on Sticks too. First of all, it's always great when we can all be back together recording a video. So Maggie and I came home for the weekend. We figured let's record some videos of us being all together. So Maggie, what are we doing today? We're doing Gymnast Play Twister. So we're a little unsure of where this is gonna go. We are going to try, like the whole point of what we're trying to do is like, we have the spinner here. We're each gonna get four spins and then depending on what color we land on is like we can use that body part. It has to be on that color. And so let's say you get two left foots out of your four spins, just use like the second one. If you don't land on any body parts that like, let's say you don't get a right hand, you can't use it. Um, and then there's purple like spaces on here. I think there's like a new version. We're just gonna count that as a free space. If you guys are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below. Also make sure you press the bell icon down below to become part of our notification squad. And let's get started. So I'm gonna be going first. I'm going to try out my four spins. So spin number one. It's going to be left foot yellow. Left foot yellow again, so that's staying the same. Is left hand purple, so that's free choice. Last spin is right foot green. Maybe I can just do, is that the right? Left foot yellow, yeah, right foot green. And I can just try a one handed hand too. So I'm going to go next. Let's see what my four spins bring me. Okay, left foot, free choice, because it landed on the purple. Right hand, free choice. What if I got all free choice? I could do whatever I wanted. Oop. Left foot, free choice, I already had that. I need something else, I need another body part. Right foot, free choice, woo! Okay, let's see what I can come up with. I could do so many things. I get both my feet. My left hand, I could very easily do a one-arm cartwheel. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know if there's anything like cooler that I could do, but. Okay, we're gonna do a one-arm cartwheel. Ta-da! All right, my turn. Left hand green. Left hand green, left hand green. Right hand green. Both hands green, okay. Right foot blue. Right foot yellow. So both hands green, right foot yellow. What okay. should I do? I feel like I have to do a handstand. I am so confused. I don't want to do a handstand because I'm not already dead one. Okay, I'm doing a handstand. So it's time for round two. Let's see what it brings me. First spin. Right hand blue. Second spin. Left foot green. Right hand blue, left foot green. Left foot free choice. So right hand blue. Left foot free choice. Right foot blue. I can just do a cartwheel then. Or if I can't use my left I think I could do a Wendy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I did it, kind of. All right, so it is my second turn. I am hoping to try and like get a harder skill, so that's what my goal is this round. First spin, we have right foot green, left hand green, right foot yellow. Right hand yellow. All right, it's show time, let's be creative. My whole right side is yellow. Left hand green. Ooh. I'm gonna do a front walkover, that's gonna be so good. Wait, wait, how do I do that? I have to switch like front walkover. Would that work? Right? No, switch leg, but only use my right leg. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna try doing a front limber type thing and see if I can stand up on one leg. I wish me luck. <laughs> it worked out better than I thought it would, but like. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh. Okay, hold on. Okay, right hand blue, left hand free, right hand free, so both of my hands are free. Right hand free, so I have two hands. All right, well I have no feet, so I guess I'm gonna have to handstand walk. Oh, I could just do a cartwheel across the mat. Yeah, without getting your feet Because I can't handstand walk. So we're just gonna do a long cartwheel. I'm gonna go sideways. I'm gonna go this way. This way's a corner. Okay. Ready, set, go. Oh! Dude, the grass is so wet! So now it's time for round three. Spin number one. Right hand free choice. Left hand red. It says left hand free choice. And left foot free choice. Pretty good turn. So for my third turn, I have both my hands free and my left leg free. So I'm gonna try doing my bad leg back handspring step out so that my hands will be on the mat and my left foot will be on the mat, but my right foot should hopefully step off the back. We'll see, hopefully it's long enough. Left foot goes on. I almost made it too long. All right, so it is now my third turn. Let's see, first spin we have left foot red, right foot free, right hand blue, right hand blue. All right, let's do this. Hold on. Okay. So what I'm gonna try and do is they about does. So this hand has to go on blue. I'm gonna try keeping this hand off to the side. Then I have to bring this around to touch the blue. And then this foot can go wherever. So let's try it. Oh, I think that worked out pretty good. All right, now time for my third turn. Right foot free. Right foot free, right hand free, right foot, right foot free. What am I supposed to do? I do a forward roll with this. Ready, set. That's hard to stand up from. Okay, well, I wanna try again. fourth round is there's going to be no spinner we're going to have each of our limbs touch a different color and we can have whatever color we want it's kind of like free choice um yeah I gotta come up with my skill now okay so I want to make this skill a good one for you guys but I'm trying to think I feel like the best way to do this would be to go across the short way so that's gonna be so short of a space to do stuff Ooh, I could go diagonally, maybe. If I were to do. Yeah. Back walk over. I could try doing a back walk over and landing off where I start here and have each arm spread out. I think that's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and do this hand blue, this hand red. This is gonna require a lot of concentration on my part. Ah, shoot, that one's supposed to go off. Did it. <laughs> all right, so now it's my turn. Have to use all four colors for each different limb. If I was good at press handstands, I could totally just do a press handstand, but if you guys didn't know, I'm not good at press handstands. You think I could do a press handstand? <laughs> Go for it. I am gonna start on the side that's slightly on a hill. 
Okay, if this is a little cheater, I'm sorry. I'll try and do my best. Rock into it. I like don't want to cheat so bad. Okay, we're we're getting off the ground. We have lift off. I mean, foot foot off, you know. But whatever. That was actually pretty decent, wasn't it? All right, I'm gonna figure out how to do a Wendy because that just makes me feel so gymnast. So. Okay, so I need this, this. Okay, I could go here, here, wait, here, blue, here, here. Right, that would work. Let's see if this works. Okay. Oh! Not bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let's try this video to 20,000 thumbs up. This video is actually super fun to film. Yeah, yeah we you kinda... guys have this game laying around like most people do. Go ahead and try doing it with some sort of gymnastics twist. I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube about like twister gymnastics. I don't think ours was what everyone else does. I have no idea what everyone else does. Uh, we actually just came up with this video idea like two hours before we were recording. It kind of just was like, we're going into it. We don't know exactly what we're doing. Yeah. So, we were. it still was pretty fun. I would definitely suggest doing this. It was like easy. Don't be super strict about yeah. the rules. It's more fun to be like, what skills can I do even if I maybe like accidentally touch yeah. the wrong color. So, you guys should definitely try it out. One thing that I thought was cool about it was because usually you do skills in a straight line. So for this you have to be like, I'm going to kind of go crooked and all over the place. And we will see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.